tumeona watu zaidi ya miane wamekufa kule shakahola mheshimiwa speaker lakini yule muhusika mkubwa inasikitisha kuwa amefungwa mwaka mmoja peke yake mheshimiwa speaker na maisha ya watu yamepotea mheshimiwa speaker kama bunge hili sisi pia tuweze kutunga sheria ambazo zitaweza kufuatwa uh, na serikali mheshimiwa speaker pale shakaola maisha mengi yalipotea sana na leo ingekuwa pingine kama ilivyokuwa kwa yule sheikh wetu Abu Drogo tuliona alimiminiwa marisasi mengi sana kwa kushukiwa tu lakini huyu ambaye imethibitika na kumekuwa hata na makaburi ya halaiki mheshimiwa speaker amefungwa mwaka mmoja tu mimi kama mama Mombasa County na nashangaa na sana subiri subiri na ndugu yangu mheshimiwa uh, nani wa kule magarini uh, mheshimiwa speaker mimi nataka niseme hivi sheria zambazo tuzinatungwa za mambo ya ugaidi ziangaliwe hata zaidi na zaidi tunaangalia mfano pale Israel na pale sin mheshimiwa speaker hawa wote wako katika umoja wa mataifa lakini leo wa Palestina wanauawa na, na umoja wa mataifa umeshindwa kudhibiti wale wa Israel mheshimiwa speaker tunazungumza katika jumba hili liwe jumba la kuweka record mheshimiwa speaker ikiwa mtu ameua awe ni muislamu ameua awe ni wa dini gani ameua mheshimiwa speaker lazima sheria ni sheria ifuate mheshimiwa speaker kwa hiyo mimi naongea nikisema hivi isiwe watu fulani ndio wanalengwa katika jamii mtu mbaya ni mbaya tu lakini hata hivyo naweza kuunga uh, uh, kipenge hichi ambacho kimeletwa na kamati hii kwa kusema kuwa tuweze kudhibiti mambo ya ugaidi na tukifuatilia kanuni za umoja wa mataifa mheshimiwa speaker mheshimiwa speaker mwenzangu ananitoa timing Sipendi kuzungumza mtu akiweza kunitoa katika akili yangu aweze kutulia mheshimiwa uh, utapata wakati what wako is, What is out of order the DPT majority leader uh, Thank you very much uh, I, it's, it's okay you know it's part of the debate that's why this is a debating chamber You see it is not true it's not factual that Mackenzie mm -hmm. the perpetrator of the heinous acts in Shakahola has been jailed for one year He has been jailed for one year for the offense of publishing films without permission. Only that one. But the main case on the mass killings of those people is still in court. And therefore, it is not factual. And you know, we are giving people the wrong impression that a person who has killed over 400 people has been jailed for only one, one year. It is not correct. I would like you to correct that so that people have the right information. And personally, I would like that guy to go to jail for life. And that is what everyone, every Kenya is waiting for. But we are waiting deputy, for... Deputy Majority Leader, that is not your call to make. Okay, but I think that needs to that be... That is not your call to make. That needs to be corrected. <laughs> that is the call <laughs> of the judiciary. <laughs> yeah, Honorable oh, Zamzam -zam Chimba, is there anything you need to correct? Nimekubali kurekebisho katika ilo, manake nimeona. Sasa mi, si waanze tunaia kumaliza watu wanza vipi na mafilamu. Sisto taka tujue watu olo uawa huyu wa maliziwe kesi yake. Ingekuwa ni muislamu, ingekuwa kesha pigu wa marisasi huko yote memalizwa hapo hapo. Wasweze kuweka watu, onawaeka, onaeka na watu bado wana majonzi katika moyo wawo. I stand guided mwishmi wa speaker, asante Owen Bayer. Kwa hiyo mina malizia nkisema, sheria ni msumeno, ukata, mbele na nyuma. Ikiwa sheria inafatwa, zamzamu akiko, kosa isiangaliwe kuwa ni Zamza Muhammad ni pigwe risasi. Iangaliwe ni Zamza Muhammad ya mekosa pigwe risasi na Owen Baya pia kikosa na pigwe risasi. Sio sisi tunauawa na wengine wanapewa maziwa pale ndani ya sel na mkate wanakunywa mwishmi wa speaker. Kwa hiyo na mimi nasikia uchungu. Let us stop profiling muslim. Hata gaidi ni gaidi awe anatoka katika dini gani. Kwa hiyo na mimi naunga mkono iyo sheria iweze kupita. Sante sana mwishmi wa speaker.